We are being we are being joined by uh, Lieutenant General retired DS Huda. Remember, he's the architect of uh, the surgical strike of 2016 and had closely worked with then Defence Minister Manohar Parikar. Now, my first question to you and Rajdeep, uh, feel free to question as well. Uh, Lieutenant General Huda, you know, many would want to remember him either as a BJP leader, as a simple politician, but he was in many ways had come to life limelight as the defense minister taking some very tough decisions if you can possibly share some of those moments in your association with the then defense minister manohar parker uh, you know to me uh, because we told a lot uh, during jammu kashmir you know he he came across as as very simple uh, but an extremely sharp defense minister uh, you know he was always very concerned about the soldiers Uh, and the welfare, you know, whenever uh, you know he would be in Jammu Kashmir, uh, he would want to meet the soldiers separately. Uh, he would mix with them. He would ask them what their problems are. Uh, so you know, he he came across as a very genuine person who was wanting to, you know, make things better uh, for the army. You know, as a defense minister, what do you think, and how do you think he would be remembered? What would be those special qualities that, whether it was about ex-servicemen, whether it was trying to reach out to the jawans and at the ground level as well as much with the officers, that his interactions would be remembered, sir? You know, as I said, uh, his interactions with the soldiers uh, were very good. He he was concerned, you know, what what they need, what they require. Uh, I also think he put in place. you know uh, very good procedures uh, in the ministry of defense so that we could fast track uh, procurements we could fast track uh, you know requirements immediate requirements of what uh, what the soldiers are uh, he was also you know there when uh, we conducted the surgical strike and i remember the first call that i got uh, after everything was over and you know we we had come back successfully and he gave me a call and said uh, you know it it was uh, you know he was simple and it was a very short call and he said you know the congratulations well done and i said thank you uh, but you know that was his style but i think he did he did as i said he was very sharp he put in place a lot of procedures you know that stand us in good stead today in the in the, in the military who i request you to stay on rajdeep sardesai consulting editor also uh, wants to put a question to you rajdeep over to you No, I, my, my only question was I, I i sensed in him a certain impatience with the uh, with the slowness of defense procurement pro, uh, processes general and i just wondered whether uh, you know what what would it take and and would that be a befitting legacy to speed and up and expedite those procedures do you believe that you know uh, the individual whether it was manohar parikar now or dare i say george fernandes all those years ago these were proactive people centric jawan centric defense ministers but they often found that the systems did not allow them to act as fast as they would like do you see that changing sir uh, you know i believe i completely agree with you uh, as i said you know he was very very keen to uh, speed up procedures uh, he put in place a, a large number of new policies uh and as you are saying you know if, uh, if we have to respect his legacy if we can cut through the the bureaucracy both in the ministry of defense even the ministry of finance uh, that i felt sometimes you know uh, what he wanted to do uh, was getting pulled back a little uh, by the bureaucracy thanks for watching the video for more such news and updates please like share and subscribe to india today also check out our other great videos from our channel we know you would love to